Okay, Beano Black, folks, and basically you've watched 360. And if you haven't watched 360, you got to go watch 360 first. And Petroglyphs is a shot from Mars. And people are going to play games with that shot that I gave you of Mars. And all that stuff's up by Mars. And in this video here, you're going to be able to see what's up by Mars and so forth and so on. Now, what we're going to do first is we're going to hit play here. And I'm going to have my magnifier. And we're going to tell you when this video plays. Now, we're going to end up being able to zoom in, and you know that this is the sun, and it does solar weather, okay? Now, I got my cursor. The yellow is over in the black, and basically the sun's over here. Now, the white-ish, the white-ish, and you can see the circles of the CME action off of the... I just go all over all this stuff out here. This is all the CME action off of the sun, okay? Solar weather, okay? There was where we get our solar wind and everything around us, okay? Now, the magneticals are the puppet strings, and this is the magneticals of the sun here. This is not the roundness of the solar of the uh, lens on the on. This is all from ahead, okay? And they zoom so far back that they can get the sun to be small enough and dim enough. And the only thing that looks huge is basically this magnetical line here, the second one, because there's a magnetical line in the very lower of the gray here. There's a magnetical line that crosses all of the puppet strings of the magnetical of the sun and the supergiants over here that hang on to all the planets, okay, and it's all the magnetical, okay, and then we do our, our spiral and orbits around the sun in the 365 plus some odd days in a year and everything and so forth, and we rotate to the sun, okay, it, it might take a lot longer for us to go around it's a combination of the sun rotating and us rotating. It might take a lot longer than 365 days to go around the sun, okay? That's just a theory of mine. Now, no matter what, we'd still stick with our solar calendar of 365 point whatever days, okay, in a year. Now, no matter what, this is what they're not wanting you to see is something that's in between. If you count the magneticals, there's a, some a planets, and you can see, because we're going to zoom in on these planets here, on with a, I'm going to bring the magnifier over and we're going to zoom in because the sun remember I got my cursor over here so you can pretty much see it in the pit in the video there's a yellow and a cursor sitting over here so the sun's over in the black no matter what okay but you might get a little glimpse of it because there's a little bit of white just past I'm um, above the yellow cursor in the pointer and basically there's a little bit of white at the magnetical and you get the umbilical cord is the darkest black line the first black line that you see and then the white also in the grayness of these black lines and stuff these are magneticals that are down here in the corners stacked up and they look like 360 degrees but that's our bubble that our eight planets plus all the other stuff you're going to end up seeing in this video and other videos that's there okay now I'm going to hit the magnetic go up and this is uh, mercury on this line and the, on the third line uh, that's Venus that's really big and bright way up here I got my cursor up above on the on the fringe so I should be right on the magnetical line somehow close to it and then this is the, with no magnetical line that's what they're hiding from us and Earth is not on this one but there's gonna be another shot I can back up here in a second and show you let me cue it up and give you where Earth is at on this but basically the fourth magnet magnetical line that you're looking at that's where Earth's at, okay? And you should be able to see without me pointing where Earth is at on that magnetical line because there's a little black spot to the right side of these f on the fourth magnetical line and not the objects that's between these two magnetical lines here. There's two magnetical lines to the left, okay? And Venus is on this one, the third line, and Mercury's on the second line. And there's planets over here, and it might possibly be Mars, but I really doubt it, and I think it's the planets that they turned around, because I was saying that there's planets over there. We finally got a 360 degree look, and, we can, and then they zoomed out on A so far back that you can see the sun and its magneticals, and you can see all eight magneticals in a line and everything like that. So now what I'm going to do is pull up the magnifier and zoom in on a zoom in, and we're going to get a look at even just on the first magnification we should be able to see by looking around staying in the on the we're on the black on the right but big deal we don't point there's three magnetical lines okay so basically venus is up in your left hand corner mercury is your middle line and that's the magnetical and the umbilical cord of the planets and stuff that the sun is magnetical go to and you get to know 
a lot now that the idea is that the sun is the whiteness to the right and that's where all the solar weather comes from and then all those black spots are actual planets and I showed you in a video last night when we were looking off of core because it's 360 degrees in the magnetical connections of the sun suns three suns more than likely for damn sure that we have here with us and our nearby magnetical to our eight planets at least and way more than that because Pluto's a planet, Mercury's just a moon, and you're looking at just a moon because Mercury is the same size, but it's just close, big in the satellite shot, and that is Venus to the left-hand corner, and that is Mercury, and the Mercury's the same damn size as the moon, and that's how zoomed in you are. And then the sun is to the right, and that's why the sun is blacked out with the black because you can't see the sun, it would be too damn bright, okay? But you get a little bit of the umbilical cord of the stuff that uh, the sun is connected to in its spiral on the umbilical cord which we travel through space and you get to see the uh, Van Allen belts stacked up in the corner and it looks like a roundness, it looks like a hoop and you think it's the, the lens on the camera but it's not the lens on the camera, it's the Van Allen magnetical belts, okay? So that spot there is a planet that they found, that we have found, that I told them that they need to look back, there's a planet over there and there is that's not Mars because we're going to count what's farthest away from you and you know when we count the lines. So now I'm going to minus down and we're going to hit play and we're going to get the eight magnetical lines to show up. And basically I will queue up and get Earth on top of uh, the, the brown handle of the magnifying lens on top of Earth's magnetical line and where Earth's at. And basically it's the fourth line to the left right now. Okay, so Earth is just above the magnifying glass, the big one. And on the little one I'm pointing at the stuff and basically... The yellow circle is just to the left, and you can see how huge that planet is that's on that magnetical that basically uh, there's a magnetical that goes all the way down, and I'll end up showing that in a little bit on the edge of this shot. And no matter what, you're seeing what they're blocking. And, and, uh, Venus is the third line to the left, okay? And then between uh, Earth is just above the magnet, the magnifying glass, the big magnifying glass over here. I'll point to it. Earth is just above that, and that's its magnetical line, okay? And that's what it's on, okay? And then the object that they're not wanting us to see is the huge comet, which more than likely it's ice on, and that's why it's going to be so damn bright. And see, it has no magnetical to it. It's a comet going through space, and more than likely that's ice on. Now, I could be wrong, but no matter what, it's a huge comet. Or we're actually, for the first time, actually being able to see Cyrus, okay, from a long distance, which is eight light years away, okay? So it could be Cyrus, it's possible, but then why wouldn't we see, and, but maybe we are seeing the buddings of its uh, Van Allen belts on it from a long ways away, because you can see a bunch of uh, little lines above the object that's between the fourth line to the left, and that's what everybody's been hiding from us. NASA and everything like that's been blocking out. They don't want us to see it. They don't want people to get freaked out and think the end of the world's coming. And the end of the world is not coming. It's just ISON's going to be a huge comet. It's going to be around for a long time. Because it's not going to be here until November of next year. The only thing that we're concerned about is DA-14 on February 13th through the 16th. Okay? So now what we'll do is we're going to take some looks at, at this and zoom in on that object that is the object that's between now mercury is the black spot i mean venus is the black spot on the third line mercury is the spot on the second line okay and over on the first line is the planet or object that we have found in all the objects as you see that i'm pointing to one of them uh that are up by the sun because the sun's so bright we don't get to see all that stuff so it's bleeding out truth because basically no matter what the third line is Venus because it's the closest thing to stereo ace ahead one and that's what this shot's from and also Mercury's big on the second line okay stereo ace ahead one okay and in between the third and fourth line there is a huge object that they're blocking from us and just above this magnifying lens is Earth on that magnetical and that's Earth magnetical line right there okay and this is stereo ace on one Ace one ahead. Doesn't matter. It's stereo ace. Okay, and we're gonna we're gonna zoom in on that object right now with a magnifier. Okay, so all my videos are absolutely fact and correct. And as you can see, that we're zoomed in. And I don't use my pointer because basically I already got it. There's planets up there, and just to the right, there's a huge planet on a huge magnetical to the right, and basically that's in front of the sun. And the sun's behind the blackness over here because they can't shoot the sun. Okay, now. I'll move along and my cursor is going to go wherever it's going to go, but we're going to go to the in between the third and fourth line and Earth is on the fourth line. And that's what they're blocking from us, not letting us see. Now, this third line 
Let me get down here so that okay, the Earth Earth is the magnifying lens, the big one on the left hand side, just above it. Okay, so now that's the fourth line. So the third line is, and it's between the third and the fourth line, and that is Venus on the third line. Okay, the first line is right over here, and that's the planet there with the little yellow cursor and everything that we found, and they are really not liking me. And I don't care, because you get to know exactly, because your tax dollars pay for this, and you get to see exactly what's out there. So now we're just going to zoom in and keep moving left and take a look at that up close of what they're not letting us see. And you can see the pixels as we get in. They do laser pointing the 360 degrees with this telescopes. They're just they're satellite telescopes, and they're, yeah, if we've seen missiles or something like that, it's all it, it all comes down to, but I'm a patriot, and we're not doing anything to, actually, anything we're enhancing and letting the whole world know that, we can see anything with our satellites. Anything at all. And there you go. There's Pac-Man that everybody keeps on talking about. And that's basically more than likely ISON or whatever the hell it is. Either that or it's Cyrus. Okay? So we've either finally found Cyrus on SOHO. And it's between the magnetical of right now of Venus and Earth. And if not, you just got a big zoom in of whatever the hell that comet ISON looks like, and it's going to keep coming. Now, people will be able to pull power, money, and control, religious stuff, and everything like that. My scientific mind, I'm also, I'm a loose Lutheran, okay? So Lutherans can be proud that basically a Lutheran can tell you what the heck's going on and keep their religion uh, in a scientific mind. And Okay? So anyway, religion's not going to mess with me, and science ain't going to mess with me. It's all actual factual. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to give you, show you all eight magneticals. Now with this being behind, that was Saturn more than likely. Okay, and that was what the, on 360, all the stuff that I zoomed in on, and it's the same thing to the right-hand side. The sun's to the left, Saturn's more than likely to the right, and all the rings and all the moons of Saturn did a CME reactive flare to the sun, which is on the right-hand side now because now we're at ahead, and you see that? Now i got to pop this back a little bit on the player so you realize what we just seen. And there's a head, H1, there's a freeze frame of it when it first did it, and we're still at a head. Now, if I hit the deal, I'm going to pop back. We should be just, I'm going to, forget about Tautus. This ain't, we ain't got to worry about Tautus. It comes by us every six years, okay? We're at behind. That's Saturn to the right, and it's moons and everything like that. Did a CME reactive flare. Then we're, now, pay attention on the top of the screen without me pointing. We're going to go to... more than likely, and that th we're going to see from ahead now, we're going to be at ACE, we're at ACE, and this is how the sun's to the right now, and you're going to see, and I'll freeze it, and see that was Saturn, and that's how far, now we're at behind, don't let me confuse you, watch your heading on the top, you always want to watch on full screen, and now I'm going to pause it, and the sun's going to be where Saturn's at on the right, okay, we're 360 degrees now, because we're at, going to be at ACE, Okay. Now, Saturn's going to be up to your left because we're at a head, and they zoom, suck back so far, and they're going to get an awesome shot as that's a CME coming off the sun to the right, and that's Saturn more than likely, and its moons and everything did that CME reactive flare. So that's when I was zoomed in earlier on, th on the movie 360, just before this movie, so you always got to kind of somewhat, you can always piece my, my videos together, okay, and that is... Saturn and the stuff up by Saturn and everything like that, more than likely. Titan and then all of its moons and then everything that's around in that area of the shot of Stereo Head 1 because the sun is to the right. And I got it limited down to Saturn. Otherwise, it's got to be something else that did. And we had to zoom in all the th everything that you've seen that got this shot when I zoomed in on the 360 movie just before this. And now i got to get you the eight magneticals that we've been looking at. So on 360, when I was zooming in on this, basically that's more than likely Saturn, or no matter what, it's planets that basically did electrical magnetical, and they zoomed in on it, and you can see the pixels, that the idea that they're looking at this stuff, and that's the object that flared. Now I wanted to make it just two videos, but basically it's going to take three, and as you see, there's eight magnetical lines. It's very easy to count, and basically, absolutely that uh, the fourth line that you see in this video, and I'm down, my cursor's below it, that's Earth's magnetical line. The fifth line is Mars. And then 
we move line above the play button is the sixth one. That's what it gets interesting because we think we, we know that the eighth line to the left is Saturn. The line with the cursor should be Jupiter. What's the sixth? 